slide, slide we created earlier, and I'm going to talk about formatting. Now, one of the first things you need to do is headers and footers. Uh, what you want to do is put in the slide number. Now, in older versions, you can do a lot of fancy things. But for some reason, in this newest version, um, they don't allow you to do a lot. So I just say click the slide number and be done with it. You want to have the slide number, and it does appear down in the bottom corner here, so that if you're using it uh, for uh, discussion purposes, let's say you've sent the PowerPoint show to your students and you're discussing it on the phone or discussing it over the internet uh, or discussing printouts, the students can say on slide four, you know, what about this or that. And so you have the slide numbers to go by. So you just simply click slide number and apply to all. It appears down there, and uh, it's small, but uh, it's there. Next thing you want to take a look at is the background. Black and white is boring, so we're going to go. I did right-click, Format Background. Now, you've got all sorts of options, and you're welcome to play with those if you want to, but you need to keep in mind readability. So you should have high contrast. So you light colors on a dark background or dark colors on a light background. Now my preference is for dark on light. Other people argue it other ways. Um, so I won't get into that debate. Now there's a lot of colors to choose from. I don't like that palette thing that they've got going there. I'm more picky than that. Uh, let's find a good solid brown here. That's a good brown, but that's not what I want for my background. I don't like that, so is that more what I'm after? So you can choose your color. And I'm like you looking for a nice tan. Okay. Apply to all. And nothing happened. None of these turned brown. Well, you see this transparency? It's 100% transparency. And so you can adjust it to change how dark things are. So I'm going to now apply it to all and close. And there it is. So then I can change the color of the text if I want to. Just highlight it, do a right click, and select the text color. I'm going to go for more colors. Let's see, I started there. Go to custom. I wanted a nice deep dark brown. Okay. I can go to the next one. That gray didn't show up there very well. Once again, just highlight. Select the color. Well, that's the brown I selected before. So I think I'll stick with it. Uh, I can go here and essentially do the same thing. Uh, you want consistency of color, consistency of how things are formatted so that the students don't wind up getting distracted by what you've got there. Very elementary.
entry formatting, maybe all the titles should be bolded. I mean, that's, yeah, that looks classier. That looks like you're talking business. It's important. I'm yelling at you by making it all bolded. You can change the font. You can do whatever you want to. But that's basic formatting. So essentially, uh, your footnote, your uh, slide numbers, title text, main text, and background. That's what I'm going to be looking for. Make sure that it's readable. So now I'm going to save this, and then we'll come back to it as it, again. Now, the first one was PowerPoint Basic, and this will be Format. Once again, no spaces in the file names. And so I'll come back to this in a bit and show you how to do animations.